Are you ready to seize the day, Maxine? Max just got a little overexcited, rubbing her face on me while I was petting her, and bit me. And then she looked at me like, what? Why did you talk? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Today's Tuesday. The sun. Can't even complain about it because I'm happy it's out today. If you're new here, hi, my name is Katie. I'm an author and an editor. All my books are linked down below. And we're just going to start a new vlog today. So planned for today, I'm working on a copy edit for a client. Honestly, it shouldn't take me more than like an hour or two to get through as much as I want to get through today of that. And then after her project, I basically have an entire month off from clients. I scheduled it that way so that I could just focus on writing Marionette's book four. So we'll get into it. I'm kind of like preparing myself to jump into writing when that time comes. So even though I'm not like technically working on the book, I'm working on the book. I've also been selling signed copies on my website because we just did a restock. My voice sounds really weird. I just woke up. So I finished packaging them all last night and I scheduled a pickup with USPS today. So Honestly, I'm just really curious to see if this actually works. I've had packages picked up before when I lived in like a house. I didn't know if they would even do it in an apartment, but they gave me the option like, knock on your door, like come to your front door. And I was like, okay, like <laughs> that would be amazing. Not that I can't just like go to the post office if I need to, that's what plan B is, but lugging all of those packages down to my car in the parking garage. I'm a one woman show and books are heavy in that quantity and then driving across town to the post office, getting them all there, putting them all in the bin, getting back to the parking garage where I probably lost my parking spot, getting back to my apartment. It's not that I can't do it. It just like eats up an entire hour of my day that like it doesn't need to. So anyway, we've got the pickup scheduled for today and we're gonna see if it just like goes perfectly if it goes smoothly and just like makes my life so much easier today the problem is because i ship with media mail because all of them are books and it's cheaper that way pro tip if you need to ship books they won't do a free pickup if all your shipping is media mail you have to have one, at least one package that qualifies for like i think there's like six different options they'll do it for but luckily this time i have an international package which is one of their qualifying things so they'll come pick them all up i'm sending something as a thank you to my cover designer who's in Malaysia. So hopefully it makes it to her okay. I missed this whole piece of hair. Also, you might notice we're at like a slightly different angle because I moved my furniture because unfortunately today's Tuesday. If you were here tomorrow, you would see it's supposed to get delivered tomorrow. I got this new bookshelf that's gonna go on this wall right here. I'm thinking it's gonna go on this wall right here. I also got a new um, chair to go along with this couch in here. So I, we're probably gonna have to move like all of the furniture to accommodate these two new pieces. So I'm really looking forward to them. So for one thing and getting ready to work on book four in a few weeks, I've been rereading the earlier books in the series. You can see we're almost done with book one and I've been making all of these notes and like highlighting things. Maxine's going to town over there. I also moved my little printing setup over there. That chair will go outside. It's just been in here because it's been raining. And Mr. Dean's up there too, actually. But if you're interested in hearing more about this whole process, I'm rereading to like remind myself of everything that happened, but also kind of like map out all of like the details and stuff and anything that I have mentioned thus far in the series to make sure I tie everything together with before. And I'm making like a series Bible. Maxine. Which I've done before. I have like a million notes and there will be a video coming soon that I'm excited about showing my new process. We're gonna let Maxine have her moment. I'm so sorry, Mr. Dean. We didn't even come say hello to you yet this morning. I'm so sorry. We have a blue sky. Look at the sunshine. So these are all the packages that are supposed to go out today. And then this is what I have left with the restock. This is a proof copy, don't mind that. But um, we've got a decent number of Wicked Souls and Bloodless Ties hardcovers. The Marionettes hardcovers are sold out. We have one paperback of Bloodless Ties left. Three of this cover of the Anti-Virginity Pact, five of this cover, four Broken Perfect Lies, three Marionettes paperbacks, one Wicked Souls paperback, three anti-relationship year paperbacks, 
and that's it. And then I could really get some coffee. I can't remember if I was telling you guys this or if it was a video over on Patreon. My sleep schedule has been just wrecked. I've been coming off of my antidepressants and if you've ever come off of antidepressants before, like you know, it's been rough. But I finally feel like better today. I'm so excited. I've come off them once before in college and it was rough. So I was trying to like be better about it this time and I talked to my doctor about it too. So I like weaned myself off of it by like lowering the dose for like three weeks. <laughs> Went down to like 75% and then 50% and then 25% and then off altogether. And still like I've just been so dizzy and disoriented and my sleep schedule has been messed up. I've been staying up to like two in the morning suddenly and like sleeping until noon. Some days I slept like 15 hours straight. It's just been a bit of a bump in our productivity, but I'm feeling a lot better today. So let me show you my new little routine with the coffee. Making the espresso as per usual. Also look at my cute little new tea cup. Ice. I'm trying to like squat in the frame so it'll focus on me and not the windows behind me so it's not too dark and it's not working. The teeniest, tiniest splash of sugar-free vanilla. We didn't need to open a new one. With the old recipe, we used to use a lot more of this, but you'll see why we don't anymore in a second. When I mean like a teeny bit, I mean like... I do still use this extra creamy oat milk, but again, just a little bit. Just a little bit. It looks like more because of the ice. And the espresso. Then, this. So I've been doing these plant protein shakes, and I've already used half of it, and I do half a day in the coffee as like a milk replacement. And it tastes very similar to like oat milk with vanilla in it anyway. It doesn't taste the same as my coffee used to, but it helps me get a hell of a lot more protein in the morning. Miss Jodine, you're up. No. It's been a little while since our last video over here, so things you may have missed are just like updates in general. All the bonus content is up on Patreon for the month, so the podcast just went live yesterday. We did a not safe for YouTube chats for Self Pub 101, and then we wrapped up the serialized release of Project Z for the vlog club. Also, by the time you're watching this, you might be able to still swing in and grab it. Broken Perfect Lies is on sale for the first time ever because I happened to get a book bub for it. So it's gonna be 99 cents through the end of April. I believe. So if you want to grab it before the 99 cent sale ends, I'll have the link down below. The next scene is starting again. It's a romantic suspense with stalkers and pop stars and bodyguards. It's spicy, has Hannah Montana vibes. I think it's a fun time. Okay, it's now 8.30, so I'm gonna jump straight into client work and then we'll get on with the rest of the day. I think my bookshelf just got delivered a day early. This thing's like 75 pounds, so getting it up here myself is gonna be a fun time. And I'm so excited. Getting it upstairs and getting it unpacked, I'm like dripping sweat. Also, it's the first week this year where it's actually warm here this year. It's supposed to be like 85 degrees. So this is what we're working with currently. And the trash is, you know, the most fun. Part. I also got these uh, spray pants in the mail. I'm gonna be doing sprayed edges sneak peek of some fun stuff. Is this the best use of my time today? Probably not. Are we gonna do it anyway? Dean votes yes. I think this is where all of the parts are. I'm hoping there's instructions in here because I didn't see them in the box. No. No instructions, just vibes. They did send me a mini like actual screwdriver though. That's a little extra. I was rereading through some of Ruthless Ends this morning because my beta reader's been going through and she sent me back some feedback. So I was like reading through what the next chapters were gonna be that I was gonna send her. And the past couple of days, I've been feeling so discouraged. I was like, literally didn't want me to even look at the book. I was like, this sucks. Like, I cannot save this book. Like, it's just absolutely terrible. And then I was reading through it today and I was like, hell, this is like really good. <laughs> um, so PSA, if you think your writing sucks, never delete, never give up. It's probably just your mood, not the book. Fear not, I found the instructions. This is what it should look like when it's done. We'll see about that. My dad's actually gonna be here next week or the week after that, the first week of May. He and my mom are going to come visit. So if I were smart, I would have timed this so this would be delivered when he was here because then he would help me. 
but um i can't have all this sitting around waiting for him we can do it i have assembled many pieces of furniture in my life by myself the majority of the things in this apartment were done by me the majority of things in my condo were done by me but this looks like it might be the most complicated thing that i've gotten before so i'm a little intimidated it is now 1 11. i went downstairs to pick up the package at like 10 45. over two hours later and we're done Ta-da! don't mind the cardboard under it <laughs> i cannot for the life of me the one thing i can't do is get the feet on here and this is really fucking heavy and so getting it over here i didn't want to scratch the floor and i used the cardboard to slide it over here but um for the most part it's pretty good i could not get these screws in because like my hand <laughs> wouldn't fit with the screwdriver so i've got them the most of the way i'm gonna let my dad take those ones over the home stretch when he gets here but other than that pretty pretty impressed with myself honestly i really like this curve in it i feel like it kind of looks like a moon and i actually recently got this like light up selenite moon lamp that i think i'm gonna put in the middle if it like goes along that curve which i think will look really cute that's not gonna stay up there we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do with this whole like area now but i'm a fan i've always had a million bookshelves in my room and stuff with the condo and since i've been here i just never got a bookshelf <laughs> So it'll be nice to have one again. This is obviously not the final product, but let me show you what we're working with. I don't think I want both of these up here and I'm not gonna just have them sitting on here. I think that one might stay up there. That one's gonna get hung somewhere. And then I'm gonna put something else on top. I just don't know what yet. And I really like having the branches from the plants just kind of like go everywhere. That's what I do with my kitchen one. But I have tried and tried and tried to like make it look better and make it look more natural i don't know if i need to like take some of the ones that are up there down and add some more i don't really know how to make it look better especially like right here i just feel like this looks really like awkward um if you have any ideas let me know but i like having it like kind of tie in the whole space you know i gotta figure out what to do with my bulletin board where to put my calendar i think this is gonna stay there um i don't know about the spacing now though I don't know. Any ideas, let me know. Like I said, I'm waiting on this lamp that I think is going to go in this middle section. This plant obviously died, but I like this pot. I might put something else in there. I've got Benny Bear up here. And then mostly I just use this for my book stock. I've got the hard covers. I have my marionettes, paperbacks, poetry, contemporary, old anti-virginity pact and then all my like non-fiction and writing craft books are down there right now i'm open to suggestions it's now a little after two o'clock i haven't eaten anything today except for like my coffee and i had a protein bar we're gonna go make some real food then we'll get back to work i'm gonna bring my tripod over here the postal worker did indeed come directly to my apartment door and take away all my packages for me i this is like making my day. I can't even tell you. I'm so excited. That made my life so much easier. I just made this frozen pizza because I was hungry and in a hurry. I've never tried this brand for their pizzas before, but I like some of their other stuff. This is so much better than any other vegan pizza, frozen pizza I've tried. So exciting. So good. It's about 2.40 and honestly, I'm pretty tired after the whole bookshelf ordeal. So we're going to eat and take a break, watch some Grey's Anatomy. And then we will get back to client work tonight. And then I'm hoping to finish my reread of Marionette's book one today. Um, I kind of like mapped out ideally the timeline to get me through these books. But I didn't account for my parents coming to visit because I don't want to work while they're here. So yeah, I want to finish book one today. And then we'll start Wicked Souls tomorrow. How cute. I'm obsessed. I can like move my chair in front of it and like use it as a background now. Not that I film that much these days, but... I could. Maxine was very upset by me opening the front door, by the post person coming by. Dean's trying to comfort her. Dean, would you like to say goodbye to the people? Oh my goodness. Tell them it's been real, but we're gonna end the vlog. Check the description for all the links. Grab Broken Perfect Lives while it's on sale. I don't know what else. See you later. Wait, no, that's not my outro. See you in the next video very, very soon. Good timing. Someone's calling me. No. Pretty